Welcome to another exciting episode of Jonna's Makeup Imagination. Part 1, Urban Decay Naked Skin Shapeshifter. Hey everybody, it's John again. I know it's been a minute, or two, or three, or four, or five, or six, um, since you saw me last. I, was, I had an eye infection, and then I've just been kind of down in the weather. Um, but now I'm pushing through and coming back and trying to give you uh, information and good tutorials today. And as always, we have... Yoshi, <laughs> you hear me, Yoshi? What are you doing? You being a good boy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but she says, "Is it time? Are we on TV? Are we on intertubes? Ready? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Yeah. Start. We gotta start everything off right by giving Yoshi a treat." And then it'll do better from there. Sit. 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 Move your foot. Stay. You don't like to stay, especially when you haven't had one in a while. I was watching. Let's see. Here we go. Y'all see him? Stay. Get it. <laughs> You can say anything else, you will not get it. It's crazy. So, it's about to move. Me and my wonderfulness. Um, I've got several new products that we are going to test and check out and look at. And it's all stuff that I've been waiting on to come out and to buy. And I just have not yet. I don't know if y'all noticed my new backdrop. So, I'm trying to get used to it. <laughs> I hate Seem is right word. Yes, she is, but that'll be it. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. So, this is what I've been really waiting for. And it's sit. Sit. No more. Sit. Sit. Good boy. And it's called the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Contour, Color Correct, and Highlight Palette. And it's in this really. Looking box, and on the back it shows the colors. Of course, I got the light version. Um, and what's so cool about this, I will show you. And while I've been waiting on this oh, for a while now, okay, this is what it looks like the actual box. So it's only that wide, that long, like that. And you take it and you open it, and immediately you have a mirror right there. See a mirror. And then this, let's see, let me look at this stuff so I can tell you. That's dark contour, light contour, oh, wait a minute. Dark contour, medium contour, light contour. Did it wrong again. Let me do it again. Do you know, I'm going to show you what's going on. Okay. Dark contour, medium contour, light contour, and pearl highlighter. Now all of these, like I said, it's got this mirror and everything. All of these are powder. Which is cool. They're all powder. Okay, now watch this. This is the kicker. Okay, you see it like that? And then it goes like this. And you've got another mirror. And more products. You see? Okay, this is all cream. So this is, I'm going to work and read it at the same time. This is a dark contour, medium contour, no, dark contour, light contour, color corrector, color corrector and highlight, this one here, and one on the end is pearl highlight. So they got pearl highlight and, and, and powder form and in uh, cream and they also have the light and the dark and powder form and cream so isn't that cool see like let me see if I can get it where it's like is this see this is great like if you're going on a trip or something and you use a lot of contour but you like you know mix them up and stuff see and there's me on both sides I think it's so neat and as you know I don't know if you can notice I have not touched this so, 
here we go which means we're in territory where I haven't even tried it yet and so first things first I don't have any makeup on except for my eyebrows done I, I couldn't go without getting do my eyebrows done so I'm gonna go in first with my uh, Smashbox photo finish primer everybody knows about that the best primer in the world like everybody buys it but it's real good stuff I mean if you got it going good why, why change Right? Okay, we'll put that on. And it, I don't know if you saw that. It was like a little bead. We don't take much at all. I'm going to put it everywhere. And earlier I put on moisturizer. And I'm trying this new... I think it's Josie Moran. Something. I'll take a minute. Get this wiped down. Um... Is this it? No, what's that? Like, we don't care, John. Just do your face. No, I care. I cannot find it. Anyway, maybe I'll put it in the store. Anyway, it's called um, milk something. Well, it's nowhere to be found, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, so it's like milk. Like, supposed to be like argan, argan drops or something, but it's in a creamy formula, so. The last one I put on, and I put on my um, Claudelay, uh, uh, brow lifter and then on the bottom I put the Origins Ginseng uh, Depuffer under here. I like that a whole lot. Okay, since I got that going on, everybody knows okay, after I put on my Smashbox, everybody lo knows I love my Becca. This is my Becca backlight. You can see it. You can see it. It's weird how it's written. There we go. Becca backlight. Okay. And I mean, this is a generous, you don't even have to put a half a pump. I mean, you put it like that. That's like a half a pump. This is probably going to last me two years. I don't know. This is the first time I've actually bought it. I ended up getting it uh, originally in my Sephora box as a, um, you know, one of the things in the come in my Sephora box. And then I ended up having um, some product that I bought from them online and got it as one of my... Um, extra gifts things they have these things uh, they have these things that um you like at certain times of the year you get extra things or certain weeks or whatever and you get extra stuff so um i was able to get another whole another thing of, uh, i mean they're they were little little like the smashbox but it goes forever in fact i had it when i had already i was using this it's crazy I mean, I already own this big one, and I still was using the little one. That's how far the little one would go. I was like, okay, I'm not going any further. Let's see with this. You want to go outward from your face, from your center of your face. It has, like I said um, before, it has uh, light diffusing properties in it to hide your imperfections as best as possible. And I do not wear um, foundation if you're new to my if you're new to my uh, channel you're learning that I just don't like my foundation feels so I don't wear it so there you go so now that we got that done let's get busy in contouring okay I'm gonna have no names for any of these things so I just show them to you I, I love these little oh they remind me of huge toothbrushes if you think about it it's like you know anyway so I'm using this brush to put in the dark contour of the cream. I actually like cream. I mean, it looks weird, but I actually like the cream formula better. So here's this this dark one. That's what I'm fixing to put in. I might need to put a skinnier brush than this even. I think this is the skinniest one like this. Okay. Um, so I'm going to dip that into the dark. I hate messing. When you get a new one, I hate messing them up. Make marks. Okay. And I'm going to go, and you're going to go in an upward fashion, inside, so I've got a whole lot on there, inside, um, underneath your cheekbone, right here, and you're trying to emphasize the underneath of your cheekbone. I learned recently, I don't know if I'm on camera, I've learned recently from watching, uh, Sephora, uh, how do you, how to use things or whatever, how to video, um, the, their makeup artist says to put it under your cheekbone and then kind of rub it up like like you're emphasizing um, 
the height right here of your cheekbone. So you're going like that with, that's what you're doing with your contour, your dark contour. I hardly even see it. Which is funny. Me and my white still. Okay, so go ahead and do the other side. Me and my ambidextry itself. I feel like I don't know, it's like you can do more with the darker. Look now, you can see it good on that one. Or if you can see it as good and I just can't see it myself. Anyway, so you take it like that and you go up with it with a dark contour. And then I take it and I start not in the middle but to the side of the middle of my forehead. It's kind of good to kind of go in your hairline with this. Because it's like Okay, why do you have dark here and inside your hairline it's like white? I mean, what is that? So the whole emphasis of this is, and the purpose, is to frame your face. You want dark on the outside and light on the inside. I know I've talked about this before, but it's a new product, so we'll talk about it again. So here I go. Now you can do this either way. I mean, you can apply it the same way with the um, with the powder form. I just have really been missing out on doing the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, cream form. Well, there's something about it I like better, I don't know. Um, the Smashbox that y'all remember me getting, I hope, um, it had, you know, that was the first time I ever used the cream contour, and it had, um, this colors were just not right for me. Okay, now I'm going to go in there a little bit more, and I'm going to go right under my jawbone, like right, can you see it right there? And this is to help, we got shadow this area to make you look thinner in the neck. I don't think it works. Especially me, because I got a, a neck to be thin. My mouth is getting dry. I'm going to have to get a sip of my drink. Here we go. Up there. So we'll get under the jawline, under the chin. Pull it through. Okay. Get this brush off. I'll we'll do some more in this brush. Sip my coke. Mm, okay. Now, I'm going to take where's that? teeny, 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 tiny. This teeny, 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 tiny brush, and I'm going to go under my uh, lip, my bottom lip right here. And what this does, it makes your lips look fuller than they actually are. And of course, we're going to blend this out like we're going to blend everything out. Nothing is blended yet. Okay. I just like that little teeny tiny one for that particular one. Wipe that off. And then I'm going to go in with this one, which is this like bigger brother. It's still thin, and I'm gonna once again. I can see this. Maybe I should use my, my little brush once again. Go into the dark contour and take it down the sides of my nose, like I'm drawing a line pretty much. Y'all see. Y'all ever wonder what I'm looking at over here? I'm looking at my monitor. Like, to try to get an idea of what I might be looking like on the film. Okay. And I even put, like, just a little, kind of like a circle. Like, you make a circle around your nose. Ooh. A little circle. Little dirty nose. 
<laughs> like that. Okay. All right. Let's see. Any more places to put that? No. Okay. So we're done with that particular one. I'm curious as to why this product doesn't have a bronzer with it. Um, I mean, either the, both the the cream nor the powder have a bronzer. Maybe I should just go into the light. Anyway, I'm going into the light. Um, I haven't heard before about using the, uh, how to use the light. What did I do with the thing? I need to get me a thing to do it with. Um, because this is very light. Light, light, light. This one. Uh, uh, uh. This one. This is color corrector. This is, I'm um, supposed to be a highlighter. So, okay, let's do this. Now, I'm going again talking about how I'd seen it done on, uh, the Sephora website where they actually have the how-to they have the actual um can't talk makeup artists on call the time whatever that's his job and to teach how to do stuff like i'm doing but he knows what he's talking about and i learn from him and try to pass it on to you so i've got the light um contour you see that on that brush it's a smaller one and i'm going to put it right on top so it's like white. Y'all see it? Right on top of my bone. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. It's more like that. I'm so white. I don't know if y'all noticed this. I literally am almost the exact same color as this product, which is kind of funny. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more. On the side. Let me see. I mean, you can see a definite line there between me, contour, and this light. Oh, just a little bit more. I'll put some more on the other side, too. Okay. And you're supposed to take it and put it over your eye like this. You pretty put much, it's like a pretty much you're putting the, the light colors are where you want people to look at and the dark is what you don't want them to see and it's it's not necessarily bad the dark areas it's just you're trying to emphasize uh the positive around your face okay now i'm gonna go ahead and do this with this big one but i'm gonna go down my nose Ooh. i made a big line well a lip. And then you put you put some right here between my eyes right here. You can also, if you don't have a cream contour, you can also do all this with your um concealer. I mean that's what I've done before. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin. I think that part's good. I just can't stand not going into my bronzer for just a moment. I've got to. I, I can't. I can't help it. And I'm just going to touch it. Where's my bronzer? It would help. Use my old standby bronzer. Come here, old standby. Which is, um, it's dirty. Uh, bronze booster, Felicia. Felicia's. Physician's formula. Lights medium. Yeah. I'm just going to go into it a little bit with a fluffy brush. I just <laughs> to do something. Just a little bit. This is driving me nuts. Just a little bit. You can put, you can put that on your um, on your dark contour to kind of warm it up a little bit. It won't be so cold. And then in particular, I put it right here. Remember I said to just kind of start here and start here when I put the bronzer in the middle. Okay. All right. 
Got that done. Okay. I got that brush. And now we're going to get into the color corrector. Now, mind you, I have not used any of these. This is all new product to me. And um, so we're doing it together. So I've got my trusty little what is this, sheer cover. Con what do you call it? Concealer. Um, yeah, concealer brush. We're going to go into, make sure this is what this is. Yep, color corrector. Right? One in the middle. There. And I have, and I haven't done anything except for putting on, what do you call it, um, the ginseng depuffer and lightener up something, but it really didn't work, to lighten up uh, under my eyes, my eyes being dark under here in the skin. So I'm going to go into this color corrector. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever used it. I have no idea what it's going to do. Hoping, I'm so hoping this whole palette works out because I have been looking so forward to it. Oh, by the way, I haven't told you how much it is or anything. But you can get it at Sephora for um, $45. I ended up getting it. It works pretty good. That's neat. It's kind of, it's kind of natural. Anyway, I ended up getting, I called them up. I was at Sephora two weeks ago. I wasn't there. I don't even remember. I think I was returning something. Um, and I was there. And I said, do y'all know when y'all are going to get the new... Uh, shape shifter from Urban Decay or y'all gonna have it you know what the date is and they said well we we already have it it's already in the back what we want we want oh what just wait a minute let me get done with this part I'm in the middle of the story anyway so I asked the ladies there you know, when are you going to have it? And they said, well, we have it in the back. But I think that we're not sure about the release. But we think it's going to be. Um, do you want down? Just wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me. Yes. Let me finish this part. Let me do my other eye. Anyway. And they said, well, we got it back. But we don't want, We don't really have a date on it. And, and I said, well, okay. I said, well, can you find out how much it is? Because. You know, my husband just had surgery, and I really knew, need to know how much it was, so make sure that I had that kind of money to spend on it. And they were like, well, it's probably like $60. I'm like, no, it's not going to be, I'm not going to say anything about exactly what Sephora I went to, but the one I went to, I'm serious. They were so snooty. They were like, and for you people who might not understand Southern English, that means uh, snobbish. What do you need? You need to get down? Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know what you're doing. Why you want to get down? But fine. Anyway, I found out how much it was and all that. And I saw online that they, on Sephora.com, they already had it for sale. And I was like, okay. And it, and it was before we had the paycheck, so I didn't have, you know, the money yet. Anyway. And, um. So, I went ahead and called just to see. Uh, this past Thursday, I was like, are you going to have the Sephora um, Shape Shifters? When is it coming out? Is it definitely coming out um, this Friday? I think that's what it was. And, um, what do y'all think about that? I like it because it's very, very... Uh, Silky. I mean, it feels a lot like the the uh, Smashbox primer. It's really interesting, and it looks very close to my actual skin. So, and of course, I need other things besides just this. Okay, that one spot does not want to. I know I'm losing. I lost my my story. I don't even know. Okay, so I asked them if they had it, and they said, yeah. And I said, oh, well, first they said, no, we don't have, we don't carry that product. I said, well, I was there last week, and your manager went back in the back and actually got me a price on it and everything. And they, they just didn't have the time that they knew it was going to be coming out. 
So I went ahead and, um, you know, stayed on the line while they went and checked. And sure enough, they had it. She says, well, we have it, but it didn't have a place for itself on the shelf yet. And I'm like, okay. And <laughs> so it ended up being that um, they sold it to me without it being on the shelf. They're like, it's okay. It's in the background. Well, you know, it's in the back. We'll bring it to you and show it to you. I mean, go ahead and sell it to you. And I was like, cool. So anyway. Long story short, which is a joke. I'm going in now with this. This is supposed to be like, it's like a high, it's like a illuminator, which is glow. We're gonna see what it does. Just for the heck of it, I'll show you which one I'm using here. Um, and remember, all of this is gonna be blended out, so it doesn't look quite as crazy as it. It me like it does now. Okay, I'm using. Ugh. I got a, a Wednesday hair in it. Where Wednesday hair? Wednesday. She's my black plug, by the way. Who's don't know? Um, it's a color corrector highlighter. That one. That one's like a pink. Um. So I ended up getting it. It was so funny because nobody. And the reason why I wanted to not get it from the um, online and get it in the store was for one thing, I wanted it, my hands on it immediately. And second thing, I wanted to get. Um, they had their real uh, mascara as their incentive. You know, you have it has a reward program at uh, Sephora where, um, like every month or two weeks or whatever it is, it has uh, an, an incentive. And you have to spend, I mean, the minimum is a, it's a hundred points, which ends up being really a hundred dollars. Um, but if you go at certain times of year, like just recently, I guess, cause of Mother's Day, they had it where if you got a per, a perfume purchase, then you got, um, 500 points with that perfume por purchase. So, um, it's not that hard to rack up points, but anyway, so I'm at like 2000, I don't know what, 2000, I don't know crazy number and so I was like well I'm gonna go ahead and use my points you know I'm good let's go <laughs> so I went in there thinking I was gonna get some and uh no they don't have them anymore thank you very much <sighs> anyway I'm talking too much and not working enough okay now I'm gonna blend everything in I think I've done everything with um Expert Face Brush by Real, Net, Real Techniques. Got this from Walmart. Walmart failed on this one. It is cheaper at, at tar Target. Who would have known? Not me. Okay, so I should be closer to you, my dears. Let's see. Let's pull you closer. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to start just blending all this everywhere. And I'm going to start down here. You want to really kind of pat a pat pull. You want it to stay. But you don't want the lines. It's like you're blurring the lines. That's what you're doing. You're trying to blur the lines. And you don't want no definite. Especially on your neck right here. No definite line. I don't know if you can see how I'm kind of... Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So you can still see it. But, anyway. This is where it really gets going. Always blur upward with this. Everything. Here, right here. This side. And then one of these lines. I'm gonna blur a little bit where I put the um, color corrector, but not much, just the edges. Okay. Take it into the highlighter. 
Move my eye. What's so funny about this is you do all this and it don't look like nothing. It's like, what did you do? You know, you, you feel like you've not done anything. But that's the whole point of it. It's not supposed to show up. You're just supposed to look better. <laughs> well, no many men would be like, what? <laughs> that's how it is. It looks more up in my hair. It wants to go crazy up in my hair. Okay. All right, now I'm going to do my nose. Was that totally out of it? Hope not. Out of camera. Here we go. I'm going to do my nose. talking while I'm doing it. I should be. I have something to say beside my crazy horror story, which I think I finished. Okay. Now I actually have this divot right here. Y'all see it right here? I am very fortunate. That's my Native American heritage right there. I've got real high cheekbones. Anyway, I think I'm good. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not done. I'm gonna continue on. But I mean, from the standpoint right now, I think you know. I, I think I like this shapeshifter by Urban Decay. Urban Decay Naked Shapeshifter. Very cool. Um, I'm going to show you something that I just learned from. Um, I can't speak. Nikki Tutorials. And she said to get uh, your puffer, your the puff that comes on all of your makeup, I mean, with your powder, and kind of dab it on at this point. Because you want to kind of set it. White right there. Before, before you start everything else. When usually you would wait till the end. For instance, me even going in and under my eye, but it's not like a bake thing. It's just, and you just kind of tap it everywhere. Is that the first drop of the evening? <laughs> I think it is. For y'all, it's not for me. I don't think. I don't know. A little bit on this side. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to put some primer on my eyelids. And I'm going to get right back to you. Um, this is a two-part video. And... I'm going to do a new look. I don't even want to, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm not crazy. And that bad off right now. Y'all will just have to forgive me. And I'm flying by the seat of my pants. And you just jump in there and grab on. But I'm going to do uh, my, what is it called? Makeup Revolution Mermaid Forever. I'll show it to the box. Makeup Revolution, I mean Revolution Makeup Revolution London. Mermaids Forever Ultra Shadows, 33 Ultra Professional Shadows. And I'm going to do a look using them. And this, my folks, is what they look like. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway. So I'm going to do that for y'all in just a second. So remember, always like, share, subscribe. And you can find me um, on Twitter at let's see what am I on Twitter at Sydney Spade S I G N Y S P A D E or John Roberts on Twitter, 
And I'm on Instagram at just Jonna Roberts, J-Y-N-A-R-O-B-E-R-T-S. And if you happen to want to get in touch with me um, by mail, um, I, have, I have my P.O. box, and they'll be down in the descriptions. Um, so thanks a lot, and I will get back to you with that second look. Bye. Like, share, and please subscribe. Y'all be sure to check out part two later this week when I do A Revolution Mermaids Forever eyeshadow. Catch you then.